Welcome back. I have a really exciting project that we are working on. Um, kind of a, um, just kind of fell into our laps. We had been talking about it and then put it on the back burner and then kismet. And so we are quickly putting together a section back here. <laughs> for the goats. So let me flip the camera around and I will show you what we've got going on here. Okay, so this is like a regular goat area here. That we've got going on. So lovely. Then our little pallet area and stuff too. So we've got all of this and remember we did our cross fencing. I have the back paddock finally blocked off so they can't go back in there. Um, and so they can only use these two. But we are working on a project here. So one thing that I've been wanting to do since we got here <laughs> was to fill in this floor of the shed. So, or yeah, I guess you can call this a shed. So when we got here, it had this, I don't know what that is, four by six there, and then two four by fours um, going across the center of it. And then it was just open to the ground with like a cinder block, I mean, up that high off of the ground. And it was just, that's what it was. And we had originally put down some plywood on top that was kind of sketch, but I knew that wasn't gonna be what I wanted to do. I wanted to fill it up with gravel. We had a pile of gravel there. We got a new load of gravel over there and delivered and we used the tractor and filled this up. So I had gotten a bunch of cinder blocks for free um, from one of my scavenges. And so I went around the three sides with the cinder blocks to kind of help reduce the amount of gravel that would pour out the side once we filled this in. So you can see there's still a couple of gaps, but I think that it's pretty good. So we used at least two and a half, maybe three yards of gravel to fill this puppy up, but it is here and ready to go. And so now what we're doing is we've got some posts in, got some wire to bring across. And uh, upon further discussion, we were going to originally use just our field fence, but I didn't think that would be a good size. So we are going all the way around this whole new area with this, I don't know what you call this, with this uh, welded utility fabric, I guess is what it's called. So it is already going around there to about there. And then we're just gonna finish it around the corner so that we can have a nice area for our new arrivals. So we've got more going on over here. I found a gate off of Facebook Marketplace. We've got a couple more posts over here. We painted um, one of my posts and dug a hole and got it in there because my plan is to continue all the way down this fence line here that matches up with the goats to do post and rail like I have over here. Mimic that on this side. So we've got this gate. We got the hinge pins earlier today, so that's gonna get put in. And then we'll do the welded wire fencing here. And we've got to finish up a little bit more along this side as well. And then we will have this area sectioned off for our new arrivals. I'm not gonna tell you right now what or who our new arrivals are, but I am just absolutely thrilled that I found I found them and they are gonna be perfect and I'm just super excited about it. So they're gonna be here in a couple of days. So we really had to get our rears in gear and get this completed this project, this new found project that I decided to get ourselves into, um, completed before they come so that they are ready to go. If you have any idea what you think we are getting, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. Let me know what your guesses are. And 
as always, please remember to subscribe, hit the subscribe button uh, so that you will be, and ring the bell. Of course you want to ring the bell so that you'll be notified when new videos are posted. Thanks so much for being here.